all this week on Your Morning, we've been bringing you the stories of people who have experienced COVID-19 firsthand. And let me remind you of an interview we did about a month ago with Megan Collins. Uh, her husband contracted COVID-19. He was 46 year. He is a 46-year-old uh, physiotherapist. Uh, he had to self-isolate. They had uh, his mother-in-law was there. His son, who has asthma, was also in the home. And we want to find out both how he's doing today and what that experience is like for him. And Robin joins us this morning. Good to see you and to hear you, Robin. Hey, good to be with you, Anne Marie. Uh, how are you feeling today, first of all? I feel great. I uh, got a cup of coffee and the sun is up somewhere. Not really here in Guelph, but uh, <laughs> feeling good today. Thanks. I'm glad to hear it. I have a cup of coffee too. Um, middle of March was when you hit the peak of COVID-19 for yourself. Can you describe for us what that was like, what your symptoms were like? You know, the first two or three days was just felt like any other virus that I had had. It, it felt like uh, more of a cold than anything, a headache, sore throat, um, uh, some congestion in my chest. And that lasted for about three days, which at that point is when um, uh, a fever came overnight. A fever came probably on about the third day. And that's that's when we sort of knew that things were a bit different. It's not, you know, a way that my body would typically react to a virus. I don't typically get uh, fevers. So that was something that I knew felt different and something that we were kind of looking out for. Uh, you were able to self-isolate in your own home. You have a separate bedroom, a separate ensuite. And part of the reason you did that is because your mother-in-law is around, as well as a teenage son who has asthma. What was it like to be in the home, to be able to hear them, but to be out of touch with them, especially when you're going through something so unique? You know, I mean, it was a little bit strange. At times it was a little bit uh, isolating for sure, but it was also, you know, comforting to know that I had that support. So I don't really, I don't feel like uh, I was all that hard done by, to be honest with you, Anne-Marie. Like I, I definitely had uh, three people that were, were looking out for my back. And uh, I know not everybody that goes through this has that. So I felt very grateful for that. Uh, what's the advice that you have for anyone who finds himself in a similar position where they've contracted the virus, where they are at home and, and self-isolating and just mentally trying to get through the stress of having a very unique position in this pandemic as somebody who's contracted the virus? Uh, you know, I think just talking to people made the biggest difference. So, you know, communicating with friends, with family, you know, whether that be text messaging, whether that be things like we're doing today, Skype or Zoom, uh, those things definitely helped keep me sane. Um, I think just trying to keep a level head. And the, the thing that I thought about just physically was as bad as I felt, I knew that I, I you know, laying in bed and, and really being in that supine on your back position for most of a whole day is not good for your lungs. So for me, it was to get up and get into a chair and to do some sort of deep breathing exercises. I did a little bit of yoga, um, which really focuses on your breath and on your breathing. And I felt like those things helped keep me uh, physically and, and mentally sane. Robin, there's a, a, a part of the population that um, wants to get back to work. They want to stop the physical distancing and the isolating. They want to be able to get their lives back to normal. What advice do you give to people who maybe feel like, okay, so I might get it and it might not be that serious, but I might not. I mean, you've lived through this. Yeah. I mean, I think I had probably what would be like a moderate response to this virus, you know, with the fever and, and, you know, about 10 to 14 days of not feeling well, you know, I wasn't hospitalized, but it's a, it was a serious, um, it was a serious illness for me to go through and it was the is the worst that I have felt in my life. And, and so it, I think until we, you know, have what we need to open up society, if that's a vaccine or if that's uh, uh, some sort of herd immunity, uh, I think we definitely, we need to make sure that we're taking this seriously for sure. Robin, I want to thank you for your insights today. And I'm glad that you are feeling in good health as we chat this morning. Thanks so much. Thank you, Amory. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.